how to build trust among your team. Hello, it's John, it's the Marketing for Owners podcast, the place where you come to improve your business. And if you really, really want to improve it, then join the Owners Club. <coughs> there's two levels, there's a free one and there's a paid one. The paid one is only 29 pounds a month. But if you join that, I personally promise I will grow, or sorry, you will grow your business. And it's got a full 100% money back guarantee. Ever joined anything that's got a promise like that? Nah. Anyway, so just go to marketingforowners.com slash join. Follow it through. You can actually go to theownersclub.co. Either. I think it ends up in the same place. So, teams. Now, <coughs> trust and teams. Two very important words in modern business i mean it all everything's changed it used to be us and them you know management and staff and all things like that one of the reasons you use the word team is because it's not just because there is no i in team but there isn't if you if you talk to if you refer to everyone as your staff it's it just gives that they're different i'm up here they're down there Thing. If you talk to people, refer to people as a team, then there's a lot more equal, a lot more equality about it. Now, I'm, I, I'm not a communist, or it's not socialism, or anything like that, and <coughs> it is just fair, and it's how things should be. So, if you want to get trust, because trust is important, trust means that people can get on with stuff without interference from yourself and you'll get a much higher quality of work from your people. So you want trust. You don't want to be worrying about things. And trust can have many effects. It's a good thing, believe me. So first of all, to get trust, you've got to be the leader. You have to lead. And there are ways of doing it. So lead with respect. So. When you lead, lead by example. Don't ask people to do things you'd never be prepared to do yourself. But also act professionally at all times. And act consistently. Don't be going in with mood swings. If you're having a really bad day, get yourself a punch bag. Don't take it out on a member of staff, or a member of management, or a member of your family, or even one of your kids or even me. <coughs> and certainly don't take it out on social media, that's another one, another, another day, another topic. But be consistent with people, be that leader that can be respected. Now another one is admit your mistakes. So you need to, you need to be humble. Now don't admit your mistakes once everyone realises you've made a mistake. Admit them before anyone notices. How about that? Imagine that. What are you scared of? What's, what's the problem? Do you, do you not make mistakes? I do. Gosh. Uh, I make many, and I freely admit to them. Do not, just please don't blame other people for things that you've done. Don't pretend that nobody knows. They do. They're not silly. They are not dumb. People know. People know stuff. Communicate, that's another thing. Communicate with the team, communicate all the time. Communicate and talk about all sorts of things. Um, make sure they have all the skills, uh, not all the skills, sorry, all the training they need to be able to do the job that you want them to do. Ask them if they have that. Don't tell them they've got it. Um, make sure that that communication is two-way. Make sure you do a lot of listening. Don't just tell people, right? That's not communication. Listen. Make it a two-way street. Make sure that they are heard and understood. Invite their opinion. Again, all this helps build that trust. And if if they suggest something and you say you're going to do it or it's going to happen, make sure it happens because if there's one way to lose trust is by not following up and by just playing lying. Yeah, 
it's not going to help, is it? <coughs> but most importantly, it's about it's about respect. It's about just doing your job and letting other people do theirs. So if you're employing them uh, to be an expert, uh, to do something for you, then in theory they are going to be good at it. Therefore they're an expert. So respect them for that and let them do it. And ask them. Ask some of the members for, uh, for their input on how you can better do what you're doing. Then, then this fosters a new kind of culture over time. This is not a five-minute job. This is a mindset. Much of running a modern business, much of running any business, is mindset. It's not all about sales and things like that. I mean, if you if you want to become, uh, if you want to take a business from say um, half a million a year to to three million a year. That's a big, big jump. And all of the full entrepreneur training for that is all about mindsets. It's, and so I don't mean lying down with a shrink. I mean the way you think about things. It just takes you back and changes the way you think. Now, once you can start to do that, you'll find business becomes easier. And that's what I'm all about. That's what it's about in the owner's club. Though in the owner's club, I'm going to make business easier for you because it's not just about making money if business becomes easier i guarantee the money will follow if you just try to make money other things won't it's all about making life easier how about that imagine imagine how smart you would <laughs> you would suddenly look if uh if your business, if you were not the one working all hours, if you were not taking work home over the weekends, you would become a model business. You'd start getting awards. People would, people would want to work for you. Everything comes. And it all, it all hangs on the team. You can't do it all. You need that help. So you need to get that trust. So think about it end of. Uh, today it's Monday, it's book, uh, time for book for the week and we're going back to some classics. No, not Jane Austen, not Robinson Crusoe. Today Gary Vaynerchuk's first book was called Crush It and I strongly recommend you read Crush It. He's written four books I think, I think at the time of recording. All of, is it four or three? It might actually be three. No, four. They are all great, but it's, it's like, he it had like a trilogy. So start with Crusher, because that will suddenly make uh, social media, make you look at social media in a different light. Anyway, I'm not going to tell you any more about it. It's, uh, it's not a thick book. It won't take you long. Just dive in. Crush It by Gary Vaynerchuk, also known widely as Gary V online. Uh, see how you get on, and I'll be back with another great tip for you tomorrow on Tuesday.